So 3D design um, is really good for students who are very creative, who have um, either done design and technology or they may have studied um, art, fine art, um, textiles, 3D at school, um, GCSE. Uh, that said, we still uh, look at students um, who haven't done those subjects and who show a keen interest and if they bring a portfolio or examples um, of their drawing or things that they've made. For year one, what I like to do is have um, a year of finding out about how materials behave. So they have uh, five projects. Uh, first project is a product design um, topic and that is all about concept modelling, designing, being creative and coming up with a, a new idea for a shade um, product that could be used in a public space. Um, throughout the year they also get opportunity to do um, architecture, ceramics project, um, body adornment which is kind of looking at um, different materials and how they um, can be put together to be worn on the body, perhaps jewellery. So we have uh, laser cutters in the room, we've got 3D printers, um, we have the facility to use a um, laser cutter twice the size of the one that we've got in our room here up in the engineering T-level building which is fantastic. Um, we've got a brand new computer suite up in the art loft. Um, we have access to Adobe, Photoshop, Illustrator, 2D Design, uh, Google SketchUp. So we, we try to incorporate as much CAD, so computer-aided design and um, manufacture as much as possible within projects, as well as traditional skills such as the lathes and the pillar drill and you know the usual things that you would find in a design workshop. So it's 60% um, personal investigation which is based on a student's ability to uh, research, design and make um, a final piece using a range of materials. So it might be that in year one where they've experienced say ceramics or um, product design that they have a real passion or affinity for a particular area, then they can pick that as, as a specialism to work in for their um, personal investigation. That's worth 60% of the total A-level. And that's all done um, in class. And then the other 40% is exam-based. So we receive um, an exam paper from the examining board. Students choose a brief and then they research, design and make something um, which culminates in an exam over 15 hours, which is about three days worth. Um, where they would do a practical piece. Yeah, uh, recently we've been on a trip to um, London. We went to uh, the Victoria and Albert Museum. Um, we find that that type of venue is really good for students because it's so varied. It covers everything from ceramics to jewellery to product design to furniture to fine art, pottery, all sorts of things. Um, that's quite stimulating for students. Um, we also run art and design trips um, to Europe. Um, we're planning next year on doing one, possibly Barcelona, um, to look at the variety of, of art and design and culture there to inspire our, our ideas. So um, some of our students uh, go on to do product design at university. Um, some of our students do 3D design. Um, some go into engineering. Um, some go into apprenticeships. So it's quite... Um, uh, a, a wide sort of uh, A-level to um, springboard students into something that is more kind of tailored towards where they want to end up. It's one of those things that fits really well. It can fit really well with drama, if you want to do um, sort of set design. It can fit well with textiles. It can fit well with uh, fine art. It can fit well with business. You usually get a lot of chemistry students with quite um, analytical uh, minds for problem solving. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, quite, it's quite broad. Um, I think the students, uh, the students are fantastic here. Um, they're really focused. They are um, really organized. They're well-mannered. They're just lovely to be around. And um, it's a real privilege actually to be able to build that type of relationship. Um, with students and seeing their work develop from, you know, that, that first kind of spark of an idea towards a final piece and seeing that kind of sense of self 
fulfillment that they have achieved um, is the best part. Also, the staff are really friendly. Um, so for me, people is really important. And then the facilities, and um, because it's excellent, and also the environment, you know, um, people kind of coming together and, and being together and, you know, kind of collaborating. Um, so yeah, it's really good. Um, yeah, I think students should feel that if they, you know, I get quite a lot of different students from a variety of backgrounds. And um, the very first project that we do, because it's about modelling, it's about trying out new ideas and it's about using things um, for the first time. And so students shouldn't feel that they have to come with a big repertoire of skills. Uh, they should come with an open mind and um, be prepared to, to take risks and, and, and really try out ideas, not, not be scared to, to test their ideas. So I think that that's, that's really important for me. Um, it's really important for students to feel open that they're able to, to sort of think freely.